The Twelve Apostles 1. Peter, also known as Simon St. Peter Also known as Peter the Apostle, Simon Peter, Simeon, Simon, or Cephas, was one of the Twelve Apostles of Jesus Christ and one of the first leaders of the early Christian Church. He appears repeatedly and prominently in all four New Testament Gospels as well as the Acts of the Apostles. According to the Christian tradition, Peter was the first disciple to whom Jesus appeared. Balancing Peter's denial and restoring his position, Peter is regarded as the first leader of the early church, though he was soon eclipsed in this leadership by James the Just, the brother of the Lord. St. Peter quotes, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. 2. Andrew, Andrew the Apostle, was born between 5 and 10 AD 9 in Bethsaida, in Galilee. The New Testament states that Andrew was the brother of Simon Peter, and likewise a son of Jonah. The first striking characteristic of Andrew is his name. It is not Hebrew, as might have been expected, but Greek, indicative of a certain cultural openness in his family that cannot be ignored. We are in Galilee, where the Greek language and culture are quite present. Andrew is often considered the first of the twelve apostles to find Jesus before his days as an apostle. He was first a follower of John the Baptist, who one day testified of Jesus, saying that he was the Lamb of God. Andrew quotes, I have come to see clearly that life is more than self, it is more than doing what I want, striving for what will benefit me, dreaming of all I can be. Life is all about my relationship with God. There is no higher calling, no loftier dream, and no greater goal than to live, breathe, and be poured out for Jesus Christ. 3. James James the Great was one of the twelve apostles of Jesus. According to the New Testament, he was the second of the apostles to die, and the first to be martyred. Saint James is the patron saint of Spain, and according to tradition, his remains are held in Santiago de Compostela in Galicia. James quotes, For the one who does not practice mercy, will have his judgment without mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. For John, John the Apostle was the son of Zebedee and the younger brother of James the Great, according to church tradition. Their mother was Salome. Also according to some traditions, Salome was the sister of Mary, Jesus' mother making Salome Jesus' aunt and her sons John. The Apostle and James were Jesus' cousins. John quotes, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 5. Philip Philip, one of Jesus' twelve disciples, is that he was personally reached by Jesus himself, while Philip brought Nathanael to Jesus, and Andrew brought Peter to Jesus. No one brought Philip to Jesus. Instead, Jesus came right to him. John's Gospel tells us, The following day Jesus wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me, John 1.43. Normally God reaches people through people, but this was an exception to the rule. Philip quotes, You have yearned to have my affection cloak, your delicate spirit, except the pretense of my craving to consume, your soul as a symptom of a greater, Obsession that can only be extinguished by your merciful hand. 6. Bartholomew Bartholomew, one of Jesus' twelve apostles, discovered that Jesus knew him even before they had met for the first time. The apostle Philip brought Bartholomew, who is also called Nathanael in the Gospels, to Jesus, telling him that Jesus was the person. The prophet spoke about the promised one of God. The moment Jesus saw Bartholomew, he praised him, saying that he could see that there was no dishonesty in his heart. Bartholomew immediately began to believe in Jesus. Jesus told Bartholomew that he would see great things because of his faith. 
Jesus' words certainly came true. Bartholomew did see and hear many greetings as an apostle of Christ. He saw Jesus heal the sick and perform other signs to show people God's love. He heard Jesus talk about the kingdom of God that was open to everyone whole of with love. He saw Jesus suffer and die on the cross to save all people from sin. And he saw the risen Lord who told his disciples that they too could live for ever if they follow him and his teachings. Bartholomew quotes, maybe there was and maybe there wasn't. But they say that as soon as the old king spoke them, the sun began to shine and fight its way. Through the storm, they say that the falling of black blobs grew smaller and smaller and smaller. Seven at Tomas, St. Thomas was one of the twelve apostles of Jesus. He is best known for questioning this resurrection when first told of it, then proclaiming, My Lord and my God, on seeing Jesus in John 20:28. 20, he was perhaps the only apostle who went outside of the Roman Empire to preach the gospel. He is also believed to have crossed the largest area, which included the Parthian Empire in India. Thomas was a very dedicated but doubting follower of Christ. When Jesus said he was returning to Judea to visit his sick friend Lazarus, Thomas immediately told the other apostles to accompany him on the trip which involves certain danger and possible death because of the mounting hostility of the authorities of his time. At the Last Supper, when Christ told his apostles that he was going to prepare a place for them to which they also might come because they knew that the place and the way, Thomas pleaded that they did not understand and receive the beautiful assurance that is the way, the truth, and the life. Thomas quotes, he who is humble easily obeys everyone, fears to offend anyone, is at peace with everyone, is kind with all. Humility, which is a virtue, is always fruitful. 8. Matthew the Tax Collector Matthew the Tax Collector was a disciple of Jesus. He did not hold a prominent place in the Bible, like Peter who Jesus said he would build his church on, or even Judas Iscariot who betrayed Jesus. Still, he is one of the twelve disciples and helped establish the church. As seen in the Acts of the Apostles, Matthew was a tax collector by trade. Merchants, farmers, and other importers would often import goods into the area, and Matthew was responsible for collecting import duties from them. He also collected any income taxes and other levies the Romans set under Roman jurisdiction, Matthew ensured. Rome got the money it demanded. Furthermore, many tax collectors took extra and kept it as a commission. Matthew the tax collector quotes, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Nine at James, son of Alphaeus. James was one of the twelve main disciples of Jesus Christ. The New Testament only mentions him in the four lists of disciples and always toward the end, indicating he was less important than the others. James son of Alphaeus is traditionally identified as James the Less and James the brother of Jesus. If these are all references to the same James, that would make James son of Alphaeus, the author of the book of James and one of the three men Paul called pillars of the church. James son of Zebedee quotes, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives to all men generously and without reproaching, and it will be given him. 10. Jude also known as Thaddeus, Judas Thaddeus, a man of many names in the Bible, was one of the original twelve. Disciples of Jesus Christ and leaders in the early church sometimes referred to as Jude, Judas, or Levius. Thaddeus is sometimes overlooked by Christians since not much is known or written about him in scripture. But while this quiet and seemingly gentle soul spends most of the Gospels, living in the shadows of the other, more outspoken apostles, Thaddeus nonetheless became an outspoken minister of the Gospel and bold witness to the love and power of Jesus Christ. Jude also known as Thaddeus quotes, Everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him Jesus. 
For the love of God is this, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. 11. Simon the Zealot Simon the Zealot is one of the most obscure. Apostles, he was one of the twelve main disciples of Jesus Christ, but he plays no particular role in the Gospels and is only mentioned by name in lists of the apostles. He supposedly preached the gospel in Egypt and then joined the apostle St. Judas that is in Persia, where, according to the apocryphal acts of Simon and Judas, he was martyred by being cut in half with a saw, one of his chief iconographic symbols, another being a book. According to St. Basil the Great, the 4th century Cappadocian father, Simon died peacefully at Edessa. Simon the Zealot quotes, You've seen him caring for those people, the one so low that no one, not I or anyone else, cared what happened to them. 12. Judas Iscariot According to Christianity's four canonical gospels, a disciple and one of the original twelve apostles of Jesus Christ, Judas betrays Jesus to the Sanhedrin in the Garden of Gethsemane by kissing him on the cheek and addressing him as Master to reveal his identity in the darkness. To the crowd who had come to arrest him, one his name is often used synonymously with betrayal or treason. The Gospel of Mark gives no motive for Judas' betrayal, but does present Jesus predicting it at the Last Supper, an event also described in all the other Gospels. The Gospel of Matthew 26 to 15 states that Judas committed the betrayal in exchange for 30 pieces of silver, the Gospel of Luke 22-3, and the Gospel of John 13-27 suggest that he was possessed by Satan, according to Matthew 27-1-10. After learning that Jesus was to be crucified, Judas attempted to return the money he had been paid for his betrayal to the chief priest and committed suicide. The priest used the money to buy a field to bury strangers in which was called the Field of Blood because it had been bought with blood money. The Book of Acts 118 quotes Peter as saying that Judas used the money to buy the field himself and he fell headlong, burst asunder in the midst, and all his bowels gushed out. His place among the twelve apostles was later filled by Matthias. Judas Iscariot quotes, I would like now to shed light in your heart on the truth of things, for it was not my will but that of the Father and my Rabbi, which was done that faithful night. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. God bless.